Suspension components, well, they're under a lot of vibration and a lot of loads, and they need to make sure the fasteners holding them together stay put and do not come loose. There are four ways to do this. The first method, well, it's a castellated nut. This uses a cotter pin to hold the nut in place so it does not rotate over time and come loose. This is used on a lot of ball joints and a lot of tie rod ends. The next tool in the arsenal that they can use to prevent vibration from fasteners coming loose, well, it's a chemical tool. I'm talking about thread locking compounds. Thread locking compounds are essentially a glue or adhesive that goes between the threads of the male and female sides of the joint and prevent it from vibrating loose. It is critical when you're servicing a bolt or a joint that does have thread locking compound that you remove the old thread locking compound and new thread locking compound is installed. The next way so that a nut stays put, well, it's known as a nylock insert. This is a hard nylon material that goes on the male threads from the female to make sure that the nut does not come loose. There's a lot of controversy if nylock nuts can be reused, but in general, some of them can be reused, but if you have the option and a brand new nut, please use it because it's gonna make sure that that fastener stays put. The last option that they have, well, it's a torque to yield fastener. These work in certain areas of the vehicle and are especially used on vehicles that have aluminum suspension components. What a torque to yield fastener does, instead of all the clamp load being on the nut and the friction of the threads, it actually stretches the fastener so it's elastic and it clamps the two components together. This is used on a lot of ball joints and you'll typically see a torque to yield fastener has two washers on it that allow it to spin when you put the initial torque on and then the torque angle. The one thing that all four methods need is a torque wrench. You need to make sure that that fastener is torqued properly for these systems to work to hold the suspension together. If you don't use a torque wrench to hold these together, well, you're defeating all of these methods right here. I'm Andrew Markell, thank you very much.